If you're a parent to teenagers and you don't know where to start or how to improve your child's overall nutritional quality, I've got the best tip for you. My name's Amanda Nybert. I'm a registered dietitian. I'm a mom of two teenage children. I have a daughter and I have a son. And this is such a common topic that I hear women parents talk about in terms of wanting to see their children make better food choices. And I'm just going to tell you, it is hard. We live in an environment, we live in a culture that makes fast food, junk food, sugary beverages, um, convenience foods a priority, especially in our child's life. We live in a uh, society that promotes tons of snacking, um, you know, grazing throughout the day, you know, in our school systems, in our sporting activities, all the things. Um, there's so much influence on the food in which our children are eating that it is hard, all right? I'm a registered dietitian. You would think that from day one, my children had the best nutritional habits. Um, I feel like I'm a really good example in terms of what I mirror and how I eat with the variety of foods that I eat, um, the nutritional content in which of the foods that I cook, but it doesn't matter, okay? We're all struggling in order to optimize our children's health. And what I've come to realize, and this is just a very simple tip that I wanna give you guys um, to get started in terms of optimizing your child's nutritional intake, is that you just have to start by focusing on encouraging them to add things versus only thinking about taking away things. Uh, typically, I see a lot of parents um, or the narrative around child nutrition and the fact that they should avoid sugar, they should not do this, they should not eat this, they should avoid this. Um, and rarely do I see the narrative more about, let's add this, okay? Because I'm here to tell you, um, especially teenage children, they don't care, okay? They wanna eat what tastes good to them. They don't care about their health. They don't care about um, how it's gonna make them feel. Again, they just wanna eat what tastes good. So what I encourage you to do is focus on having them add things to their diet. And the biggest food groups that you can start to talk to your children about adding are protein and fiber, all right? So this is a big conversation that I have with my own children. And you know, anytime that I'm looking at the food in which they're eating or we're having a conversation around nutrition, I'm always encouraging them to think about, okay, well, where's your protein source in this meal? You know, for example, if my daughter wants to wake up and she wants to have a bagel, um, I'm like, great, let's have a bagel, but where's your protein source in this meal? So in that kind of thinking, she'll say, oh, well, let me have a bagel with some Greek yogurt. Let me have a bagel with some scrambled eggs. All right, so again, we're not taking away the bagel. If she wants donuts, great, you can have a donut, but where's your protein? Um, so again, we're talking about incorporating that protein. So it may be a donut with Greek yogurt. It may be a donut with, you know, scrambled eggs or hard boiled eggs or whatever. Um, so again, it's really getting them to think about regardless of what, what I'm eating, where's my protein? Where's my fiber? Okay, fiber's a little bit harder in the morning, but for your other meals, it's very easy for them to think about adding it. Now, it's not gonna be easy for them to eat the foods that are high in fiber because most kids don't like fruits and vegetables. But the more that you expose them to this, the more that they realize these are the foods that are gonna help fill them up, optimize their health, the more likely they are to consume them. So again, the biggest conversation that I would start having with your children is around that micronutrient component, all right? Most children, most people in general, are not consuming enough protein and fiber. We're consuming an abundance of carbs and sugars, calories, um, empty calories. So getting them to think about their food in the form of adding more protein and fiber can be really beneficial. Um, think about it at your lunchtime, think about it at your dinner time. So I've got a whole series that I'm gonna be doing on um, adolescent nutrition. I've got a brand new adolescent program that I'm gonna be launching. This is a 
um, a topic that is very um, close to my heart. Um, as a mother of two teenage children and seeing the challenges and knowing that their nutritional intake now really dictates the quality of their life later, I, I also feel like that there is a huge missing link in the space of adolescent nutrition. I don't think that we are adequately educating our children on what healthy eating looks like, why it's important at this stage in their life. Um, I don't think that we're uh, educating them adequately enough on the importance of body composition, on the importance of micronutrients. I think that there is, um, especially parents are very hesitant to talk about nutrition and health and wellness because we don't want to instill unhealthy eating habits. We don't want to instill eating disorders, but having no conversation is not the answer. So my goal is to open up the lines of conversation, have them in an appropriate way, lay out the facts and let children start to think about their health and wellness before it is too late. So if you're interested in hearing more about this type of content, hit the subscribe button, share this video with your friends and family, follow along as I um, uh, roll out this new adolescent program and continue to provide education and support on my channel. And um, let me know in the comments below what you wanna learn when it comes to adolescent nutrition. I'm excited, follow along.